download v380 app register and log into your v380 account Please power on camera. For the first use, please press and hold the reset button for 5 seconds to initialize the camera. After hearing waiting for Wi-Fi Smart Link configuration, select Wi-Fi Smart Link connection method. Please select Wi-Fi and fill in the password. Then enter the device ID. Scanning the QR code on the device will automatically fill in the device ID for you. Tap next. The device will automatically connect to the router. Please wait patiently. After the connection is complete, you can view your camera. Okay, hello everyone. I'm going to ramble on here for a minute here, so and then I'm going to show you how to set the camera up. So you can probably fast forward just to get to the setups, but you might want to see the cool things the app does. Okay, so right now when I first sign in, this is what we see. And first I'm going to show you the storage. The camera, I would recommend going to Walmart or a big box store and buying an SD card to put in the camera. And that way you don't have to pay for any service for online. Uh, you put it in the camera, you know, 32 gigabyte 64 gigabyte memory card put it in the camera if something happens tomorrow and I want to see it I unplug the camera and you know because something happened maybe someone broke in my house and then this way it won't loop over it because basically how it works is if nothing happens for three days and the memory card runs out of room it starts over again but you'll know within three days if something happens most likely you know, oh no, last night someone broke in my car and I was aiming at my car. I'm going to unplug the camera, take the memory card out, and I know that it's on the memory card so I can find out who vandalized my car or whatever. But you can always click the cloud button here on the, on the app and subscribe to have online storage. Subscribe now. So here's, it's pretty affordable to be honest with you. For one penny, you click on one penny or whatever, it gives you 30 days of 8 gigabytes of storage. It's not a lot, but it'll be on your phone for 30 days. But if for some reason it runs out of the 8 gigabytes, it's going to loop over, erase the oldest video first. You can click on 64, 16 gigs. You know I need more storage. Uh, that's $239 a month or $15 a year. And then again, you'll have more storage space, more videos on your phone. But I mean, I can go buy this little 32 gigabyte card right here I just clicked on for $3.19 a month you know, or $20 a year. I mean, those, camp, those cards are probably $10 at the big box store. Or I could just pay $20 a year and not have to put a camera, a memory card in my, my, I, I would never recommend that. I would do both. I mean, if it's really important to you, you know, do both. 64 gig is $4.79 a month or $30 a year. 128 is unbelievable. Tons of storage. $8.79 a month. Maybe you only need it for a month. You know, you're going on vacation. You want the camera for, or $59.99 a year. Or you just go buy a memory card off of eBay or, or Amazon or a big box store. But I mean, if it's me, I'm going to run right to the store and get it. Okay, so that's the memory. Uh, you click on the device, and there it is again, the main menu again right now. And I could just, there's a share button, there's settings, but we're not going to go through everything. Once again, you can pause this, or you can fast forward to the setup instructions. There, I hit the button, and I'm on. I got good internet connection to my house, okay? It's going to have bugs once in a while. My son's playing a video game, and he'll say, what happened to the Wi-Fi? Because this is connected to the Wi-Fi. Remember, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, not 5G. 2.4 gives you long-range internet. That's all the camera works with anyways. And it'll, you can put it further away from your router. But there I am. And there's a little circle button here. I can push it on the arrow and move it to the left. See? And look at my front door. Or I can push it back to the right. Yes, I can go up. This camera's crazy. I mean, for the price, many, many years ago, I tried to put these around my retail stores. And I couldn't. I had to buy big DVR systems, box systems, and all that stuff. Okay, so I'm rambling, so I'm going to go to the bottom right now and click on more. Now, it, inversion, if I'm saying it correctly, is basically if you hang the camera on the ceiling. If you hang the camera on the ceiling, you can just hit that button right there, and now the camera's in the right direction for you to view. So that's pretty cool to do, so you can mount it on the ceiling. Mine's just sitting on the counter. Okay, you can hit a snapshot button here if you want to take a picture of maybe all like your cute little dog on the couch because that's really what mine's aiming at mostly. They're out for a walk, so I actually get to make this video. 
I took a snapshot just now, or I can press the record button right there, and I think it lit up red on the screen where you guys can see it. I'm just going to do five seconds, and that's storing it to my phone's memory. And I'm, you know, I got Google Play or Google Photos. So basically, I saved that folder in my Google Photos, and every time I hit record, it automatically uploads it to my Google Photos album. That's cool, too. So I go back to the bottom right more. I click on preset. Presets are really cool. You can set them. I don't even have them all set up. I just got it where I want the camera to go. I got the camera here. Now, let's say I want to aim it at my door. I just push the preset button on the bottom. It turns it immediately to my door. Or maybe where my dog sits. My dog sits there. Back to the couch. Instead of me... Oh, that's my chair. Look at that. I sit there. That's my, uh, my... I won't say it. My I don't know, television show chair. And there you go. Back to my thing. So I leave it like that. Now, this does have motion sensor on it as well. Okay? I don't recommend using a motion sensor too much unless you have a big wide open area, like maybe in your store. You know, just because the camera just keeps searching. It keeps searching for motion. It searches, goes left, right, left, right. It's pretty cool, but it become annoying. Uh, once in a while, it'll catch the TV set and it keeps thinking that's the motion and it stays on my TV set. So I just turn the motion off. But I mean, it, it, may, it might work great for you. Maybe, you, you know, maybe I just don't have the camera in a great spot. Okay, now... I'm looking at you got replay. I won't hit the replay button. The replay basically is so you can replay something that happened. Oh no, something happened in my house about three hours ago. And it'll replay everything that's on the memory card right there. You put the memory card inside that camera, it'll replay everything on that memory card so you immediately see what happened. Now we're, on, we're on a live view right now. Okay. So then, and you got the speaker button so I can push the button if I want to talk to somebody in a house. And let's just look. And in the settings, okay, last thing I'm going to talk about. In the settings, you can set up alerts. Now, if you are, like my wife, taking a dog out the front door every five minutes, I don't want to be alerted when I'm at work every five minutes that there's motion in my house. So the motion alerts are awesome if you're not home. Because if you're home, it's going to send an alert to your phone every second saying there's an alert in your house. Somebody's moving around. But let's say you have a business. Let me tell you, this is cool, too. It has a siren you can turn off or on. So if somebody comes in your business store, the alarm on the camera will start going. Woo, 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 woo. You could turn it off and on because that would be annoying. If, if it moves around and you got it in a baby's room and it starts going, woo, woo, making that loud noise. How would you like my sound effects? Pretty good, huh? Okay, so I think I did a pretty good job showing you the cool things the camera does. And you can do a multi-screen too. Let's say you have four cameras. You buy them all off of me. You hook them all up and you can see all four cameras at the same time. Pretty neat, right? So... I'm looking to try to see what else I can tell you. Just go into settings, take your time with the camera, and if you think it doesn't do it, it probably does it, and uh, you're probably um, just got to figure it out. Okay, so I'm going to pause this. That's a little, my little app. I I'm going to do my best real quick to show you how to set the camera up from memory, uh, and, I'm, and this is pretty simple. On the top right, you're going to see a plus button. Okay, so you click on the plus button, and it's going to say add camera. So we're going to go in the middle. I'm going to click the add camera in the middle. Now, I'm going to pick Wi-Fi smart camera. This is a Wi-Fi camera, okay? Then I'm going to go to the middle connection, Wi-Fi smart link connection. I click it. It's going to bring up the name of my internet and then my password, you know, okay? You can click this little I button there so you can make sure you type your password in correctly. What you need to do is you need to pull your Wi-Fi button down, you know, or, or however you get to your Wi-Fi on your phone, Oops, I turned it off. And make sure your Wi-Fi is on. I would turn, I would forget your Wi-Fi, to be honest with you. I would start by forgetting your Wi-Fi. Forget all your Wi-Fi is on it because you should know your passwords anyways. See, if it's obtaining it, it's connected to the 2G internet. 2G, I connected my phone to. Not 5G, it has to be 2G. This is a 2G camera to get this thing initialized. Okay, so now it's connected. So then it generally, when you come back to the app, it'll generally put whatever internet you're connected right here. But if it doesn't, make sure you put it in there, word for word, everything, capital letters, small letters, everything, the correct password. And then on the right-hand side next to device ID, you're going to see the little square. You're going to click it, and it's going to pop open a camera. And there's a camera, and it's a please scan barcode. Well, the barcode, my little dog bed, see my dog bed? Well, the barcode is on the bottom of the camera. So once you scan it, let's see what happens. I mean, I've already got this camera set up. 
There, I put it in there. I put it in there. Okay. We'll go a little further, just see what happens. Although, I'm going to mess my little camera up that's already got set up. Let's see. Next. And it's device connecting. It may not connect because I'm already connected. But this is how easy it is. Let's see what happens. And you got to be patient. These things aren't like rockets, uh, you know, and it takes 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. You have to wait. You have to be patient. Uh, I mean, I should have used a new camera for it, but I'm using one that's already installed. There, completed. See that how nice that is? And you can pick living room, home, office, bedroom, or you can change the name here. And now I can skip it, but we'll hit finish. And uh, what's crazy about this is, I mean, I already have this camera hooked up. <laughs> so, it says test camera too. So let's try. Let's sign in. And there's me, so whoop, that's a wide angle and lens. I didn't really want to be in the photo. And then, uh, there I am, there you can, wow, that's pretty neat, right? So, that didn't take long to set up, guys. Unfortunately, oh, there's my presets, good, oh, good, I didn't want to lose all my presets. But up top, it still says test camera. That's how easy it is to set this camera up. If you have any issues, you can go on YouTube and find other YouTube videos. I would do it my way, I would, I would, I would go to your... Your hotspot, I'm not your hotspot, wrong word, Wi-Fi. I would forget all your wi all your hot Wi-Fi's on your phone. I would forget them all. And I would turn it back on because what happened was, or it did, was somebody didn't know their Wi-Fi password and they kept blaming it on the camera. And I actually drove over to their home and, and I was can't lie, a little frustrated about it. Who wouldn't it be? Complete stranger. And... It turned out to be, I forgot his passwords on him on purpose on his Wi-Fi, and he couldn't sign back in. He couldn't sign back in because he didn't know his password, and by not knowing his password, he couldn't set the camera up. Just hitting a few presets. So it's that easy, everybody. I hope you love it. Have a great day. You can check YouTube for other videos other than mine. People are making these videos all day long. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Download V380 APP. Register and log into your V380 account. Please power on camera. For the first use, please press and hold the reset button for 5 seconds to initialize the camera. After hearing, waiting for Wi-Fi Smart Link configuration, select Wi-Fi Smart Link connection method. Please select Wi-Fi and fill in the password. Then enter the device ID. Scanning the QR code on the device will automatically fill in the device ID for you. Tap next. The device will automatically connect to the router. Please wait patiently. After the connection is complete, you can view your camera.